Hey YouTube, this is part two of the Canco Hybrid water heater. Make sure you watch part one first before watching this uh, part two, which is the operations and to make sure that it's working properly. Water heater is installed. Let's test it. Fill it up with water. And turn on the water. All right, water's on. A third is plenty. That's good enough. Turn on the pump. I hear it. Wait until it stops. Right, power it on. All right. Let's measure it. Room temperature. Alright, let's power it on. Oh yeah. Beautiful. The water heater has been on. Let's turn on the pump. And this is the uh, gas water heater. That remains off. And let's turn it on. Still cold. There you go. Yep. There's the hot water. Yep. Look at that. Nice and hot. Beautiful. Just a couple of notes when you're doing this project. Leave yourself enough slack, right? So you could actually do your annual maintenance. So you could remove that, draw it out, and you could still drain your water when you're uh, winterizing. And the other one is inside the trailer. Right. You may need to occasionally press that reset button because you're still working on two independent systems, right? You got your electric water heater and of course gas. They're independent from each other. You could run them simultaneously or just run electric or run gas independently, right? But if you're going to run gas occasionally, uh, that thermostat um, sensor may get tripped. So again, you may end up pressing that reset button here and there. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe. Click that notification bell. I'll chat with you guys later. Bye for now. All right, take a look at that. Couch is in place. Everything's back in place. Bam. Nice and neat. Later.